Hey guys, welcome back. Let's do another mailbag video. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really glad you could join me today. Let's do another mailbag video. We've got quite a few packages here today. Let's start off with the small ones. Let's see what we've got here, guys. We have a Ublox Neo GPS module. This is the Ublox Neo 6M GPS module. I'm not going to take this out of the package yet just because uh, I want to leave this one sealed up for a little while, guys. I'm not going to be using it right away. This will be a future Arduino project that we're going to integrate some GPS. This is a standalone receiver. It should work really good. Looking forward to it. Let's see what else we've got here, guys. Got a whole bunch of these. I think I know what these are. Let's go ahead and get one out. These are a bi-directional logic level converter. These are a little different than the last video. The last video was just a power supply, a 5 volt to 3.3 volt regulator, but these are a bi-directional logic level converter. We should be able to use these for the sensors that are not 5 volt tolerant to use the, our 5 volt uh, Arduinos. So looking forward to this. I got a whole pile of them. I'll throw a picture up on the screen of the eBay vendor I got these from and you can buy them yourself. Let's see what else we've got here, guys. I, I pre-opened all these just to save some time. Plus I just couldn't wait to see what was in all of them. Guys, more breadboards. You cannot have too many breadboards. It's just impossible. I, I find that more projects I half create, I need to, to bench for a little while. I need more breadboards. I'll throw the picture up on the screen here. You can buy these. Uh, they're not much money and uh, yeah, can't go wrong with having too many of these. Let's see what else we've got in the heap here, guys. A whole bunch of something. And I think I know what it is. Even more Arduinos. These are the Arduino Nano. Again, can't have too many breadboards. You also can't have too many Arduinos. The Nano is my favorite variant. I have a boatload of these now. Uh, I won't bother going into the heap of my electronics supply to show you how many I have, but uh, I have a pile and I'll probably end up with more can't have too many of these in your supply line because they're just so handy. Nice little USB on board, incredible capable chip, uh, FTDI on board. So yeah, handy thing to have guys. Guys, let's go to the bigger box here and see what we've got. This one's going to be a harder to capture. This one I've been sitting on for a little while and I've been eager to do an unboxing. Guys, most of you know I'm into RC. What I did is get the flight test swappable series. Uh, I got three pre-made foam board aircraft. We've got the FT Flyer. We've got the FT Delta, which is a Delta style wing. And this one, which they call the FT Nutball swappable. All these, the power pod disconnects from the wing assembly and uh, good indoor or outdoor flyers. I can't remember the, the price I paid for this kit. If I uh, get a chance, I'll throw a screenshot up. It comes with everything you need to do the power pods. They like barbecue skewers and plywood and popsicle sticks and all the simple stuff that you want to be able to build kits out of. Really uber simple stuff. Uh, Really, I, I really love flight tests and I love everything they stand for, so I think you guys will too. What I did, I bought this from Great Hobbies out of Mississauga, Ontario, and they even have basically a kit. So I was able to get, these are extra props, can't go wrong with having extra props, but this is the kit that, that I ordered. Let's see what's in here. Let's actually move things around. Within the kit that they send, it's really well packaged, really nice little assembly. Pretty impressed with it. You get a couple of props. You get a nice little speed control, which is a 2 to 3 cell LiPo, a BC 3 amp. 
18 amp speed control. Get a couple of nine gram servos. These things are the uh, Supo brand. No idea what that is, but yeah, we'll say they're probably pretty good. And you get a motor, guys. So remember the swappable series, you can swap the power pod between your aircraft, but this is a 1450 kV motor. Should be plenty enough for the aircraft. Comes with a prop adapter, and I'm pretty sure it comes with a prop saver with the rubber bands so that basically the prop just rubber bands to the front of the motor in case you whack it into the ground or objects inside, it'll, uh, it'll pop free and you just set it back on. Guys, uh, good luck in all your electronics ventures. Really enjoyed the, having you with me today. If you don't mind, click the thumbs up button down below. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. We'll get these put together in an upcoming video. And uh, yeah, let's get them out and give it a fly. Thanks, guys.